here are my top tips on how to deliver a really successful careers talk in a secondary school. Have a conversation with the school in advance about the makeup of the audience who are likely to attend your talk. In most cases, the school will know to gather those students who are most interested in studying medical, biomedical and science-based subjects at university. It is worth checking and clarifying this with your contact at the school in advance. While it is possible to tweak the content of your talk for a more mixed audience, obviously there will be greater engagement if the audience is already interested in related subjects. Be clear about your role and pathway into pathology and what the different routes into pathologist roles are. It is best to assume that secondary school students won't realise, for example, that medically trained pathologists will have done a medical undergraduate degree before they specialised. So if you're medically trained, tell them you're a medical doctor from the off. But remember to highlight routes in from science and biomedical degrees too, as not all of the students will be able to study medicine. Be interactive and ask the students questions to get them hooked in from the start. For example, you might ask for a show of hands in response to questions like, who thinks they have been helped by a pathologist? Or who here has ever had a blood test? Or something along those lines. Or use more thought-provoking questions, such as, what do you think a pathologist carries in their pocket? You might also bring along props, such as a microscope, or perhaps more transportable lab equipment, or an object or laminated image that relates to your work. Students will remember more when there is something physical that can be passed around or used in a demo. Another great interactive way you can start your talk is to use one of the quizzes that are on the college website, as this can really get the students engaged from the beginning. For a careers talk in a primary school, the pupils will be used to putting their hands up before answering, and so asking questions and then choosing from among the sea of raised hands is a really good way to make the talk interactive. But with this age group, be prepared for really unexpected questions. I've even been asked if I sell blood. When giving a careers talk, please be sensitive to the life experiences of the audience. Some may have been very ill or be suffering from long-term illnesses themselves. My audiences of schools have included a child with chronic liver disease and a leukaemia survivor, as well as many, obviously, with asthma and allergies. Many of the students will have experience of illness in a close family member and may have a parent or grandparent currently being treated for cancer. So while you want to avoid jargon, it is important still to be professional in your language and of course to demonstrate that we are a caring profession. It is also important to remember the environment and context of the school and the varied career expectations of the students. Emphasising that there are careers in pathology for medics, dentists, vets, scientists, laboratory assistants and clerical staff is important. You are an important visitor to the school and may become, even from this brief visit, a role model or an inspiration. I think that is a wonderfully privileged position to be in. Most pathologists are comfortable talking about their own specialty, but less confident when describing other pathology specialties, so it is a really good idea to use video content. There are excellent careers interview videos prepared by the College Public Engagement Team with consultants from some of the larger pathology specialties talking about their work. There are some shorter and longer versions of each on the College's YouTube channel and you can embed the link to these from your presentation very easily. If you're not sure how to do this, then the College Public Engagement Team can help. These and other videos, like the journey of a biopsy and the what is a pathologist animation, can all help to illustrate what careers in pathology involve and why they're important and rewarding. Tell a story with your presentation. Young people will love to hear how you personally got into pathology and what experiences you've had along the way. Tell them why you like your work and why it's a great specialty to work in. Use language and examples students will relate to. While it is of course important to keep everything medically and scientifically accurate, be wary of including lots of jargon-heavy text, or indeed lots of text in general. The slides for your presentation should be straightforward. Avoid using lots of medical language that you would use with colleagues. If you can, ask a teenager you know to look at the slides or listen to you rehearsing and give you their feedback. Remember to consider safeguarding. 
Confirm the school will provide a member of staff throughout. This is essential even if you have a valid DBS check. Use the photo consent form on the college website and don't take photos of students without appropriate consent. It might be an idea to take with you some stickers saying do not photograph, which any of the students who do not want to be photographed can wear. Before you talk, get help from the Royal College of Pathologists public engagement team. You can get in touch with them by phone or email with any questions that you have and there are lots of useful resources and ideas as well as over 40 pages of careers content on the Discover Pathology area of the college website. Good luck with your careers talk. It is such a valuable thing to do and good fun too. Thanks for watching. Bye.